हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू लिट साहित्य टुडे वी आर डीलिंग विद अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट बाय थंग जो माय बुक शैक सिंह आई एम सॉरी फॉर द प्रोनाउंसिएशन द पोएम इज टाइटल आई वांट टू बी किल्ड बाय एन इंडियन बुलेट सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट अस गेट स्टार्टेड द पोएम इज अ सटायरिकल एंड डिस्टोपियन डिपिक्शन ऑफ पोएट्स नेटिव लैंड मणिपुर वेयर ही फेसेस कांस्टेंट थ्रेट्स एंड वायलेंस फ्रॉम वेरियस आर्म ग्रुप्स एंड फोर्सेस The poet uses absurd and surreal imagery to convey his sense of fear, frustration, and helplessness in a chaotic and oppressive situation. The poem begins with the poet stating that he heard the news long ago that they were looking for him. The pronoun "they" is ambiguous and could refer to any of the parties involved in the conflict, such as the Indian Army, the separatist militants, or the local gangs. The poet implies that he is a target of their violence because of his identity, his profession, or his views. The poet then describes a scene where five men enter his drawing room. Uh, he names them as fire, water, air, earth, and sky, suggesting that they are the elements of nature or the forces of creation and destruction. however they are also the avatar of might meaning that they have the power to do whatever they want they announce they they announce that they will kill him right now without giving any reason or explanation the poet asks them why they will kill him and what is his crime he wonders if he, if he is a poet who writes nonsense or a seer who predicts the future or a madman who has lost his sanity he admits that he cannot tell if he is insane or not implying that his reality is so absurd and irrational that he cannot trust his own perception the leader of the men says that it does not matter what what uh, what he is or what he has done they are not concerned about this or that they only have one mission to kill men the poet asks them how they will kill him and with what weapon they say that they will shoot him with a foreign made gun as they do not use guns made in india they mock india for its inability to produce anything good even plastic flowers the poet says that he does not want to die from a foreign bullet as he loves india very much he asks them to shoot him with a gun made in india instead this request angers the men who tell him not to mention bharat or india to them they leave without killing him as as if they did nothing at all uh, the poet escapes death because of his fastidiousness or uh, preference for a, a certain kind of death the poem ends with a paradoxical statement being fastidious about death he escapes with his life this uh, this suggests that the poet's, uh, poet's love for india saved him from being killed by those uh, who hate india or uh, who are indifferent to it however it also implies that the poet's life is not worth worth much in a land where death is so common and arbitrary the poem uses irony sarcasm and humor to expose the absurdity and cruelty of the situation in manipur the poet also challenges the notions of identity nationality and loyalty in a context where they uh, where they are constantly contested and threatened the poem reflects the poet's personal experiences uh, personal experience as well as his social commentary on the st- on the state a state of affairs in his homeland and that was all for this poem uh, thank you so much for watching please subscribe to the channel thank you